Oy, oy. Good morning. Okay, let me close the bathroom door. I hate that the freaking door is always open when I'm filming. I said I wouldn't talk about poo in this video, so I'm not even gonna make the joke. What's up, everybody? Today's video. Now, you know what? Actually, no, I don't wanna start it like that. It looks like my filming schedule is slowly becoming vloggy and like more daily. I don't wanna say that I'm gonna start doing daily vlogs, but I'm gonna start doing videos more frequently throughout the week. Guys, it's pouring rain today. It sucks. It's one of those days. Well, it's one of those days where you need to do a bunch of stuff, but like the weather's saying. You stay inside, watch some Netflix. I'll get you a nice little warm blanket. Maybe I'll sprinkle some thunder out there to make it real cool. And I, my poor dog Charlie has to pee. Charlie was like willing to brave it, and I'm like, nah, buddy, like it's big rainy. So I'm left with like a bunch of like boring ass stuff to do, which you guys don't want to see. I know I've talked a lot about this, but I don't think I've ever actually shown you guys. Have I showed you? Maybe it's been in the background before. This is my Danocracy D. Lights up. They can like change the colors and get like a nice red. Green, purple. Guys, we're so late to filming today. It's because I had a stupid basketball practice this morning. It's because I had to shampoo some koala bears. I was doing the Iron Man. It was, I was unclogging a toilet, and that's not a lie. <laughs> So basically, I've been working on this new kind of like art sort of piece that I wanted to do. I went to the hardware store and bought a piece of plywood, put a layer of glue down, and then put some comic books on top, which is what I did. Hey. I've kind of like put different ones in there. I know some of you guys in there will be like, Dan, you're mixing Marvel with DC. It's fine, it's comic books. I want to spray paint Wonder Woman on top of this. I gotta get like a stencil or like a multi-layered stencil. So with that being said, I started to cut out stencils. This is like her hair, and I spray paint a silhouette, and then on top of that, I start spraying the different layers. I don't know if you guys are still following me here. It's getting very confusing. I emailed a bunch of companies, and they, they're telling me it's gonna be like close to $300 for like a multi-layered stencil of Wonder Woman. $300 for that? I'm only gonna use it like once, the spray paint. So luckily, some of you guys might know him, Hacksmith. He's a friend of mine, and so I was talking to him last night, telling him my problems. I was like, man. <laughs> And he's like, I could do it for you for like 10 cents. I might be making a trip out to his shop, which would be cool, because I know a lot of you guys watch him and know him. <sighs> I'm so tired. This rain is making my day suck ass. I can't do anything. Anyways, I want to share this story with you of the most awkward kiss encounter I've had. I still, when I think of it, I cringe. I, oh my God, I cringe so bad thinking about it. So I'm at this YouTube party. Bunch of creators there. I ended up running into one of my buddies, talking to him for a while, and this girl comes up. Matt, haven't seen you in forever. Hugs him, okay, hugs, just standard hug. Uh, he then goes, have you met my friend Dan? No, I haven't. She goes to shake my hand. As she goes to shake my hand, she starts to get close. And I'm like, okay, you're, you're a little close for like a meeting, right? Then she starts to get even closer. And I'm like, what is happening here? Is she gonna go in for a freaking smooch? We just met. She's like, and then she goes up to the side. She goes to the side and gives me a kiss on the cheek, but I was so caught off guard. Oh my God, it's so cringy. I was so caught off guard, okay, that when it, <laughs> I hate reliving cringy moments because I like, can bring myself right back. Did the kiss on the cheek. You know, like it's like very European. And it drives me nuts when people my age like do that. Don't be offended if you do it. I'm just saying personally, it, uh, I find, I don't know, I find it so awkward. She goes in, goes, like makes a whole sound effect and everything. I still don't know. Like, are you supposed to actually like kiss them on the cheek or just make the sound effect? I don't know if I'm supposed to actually go like, or just like, you know, like make the sound. So the first time I did it, I was in Quebec City and we were filming for something and like, it was so awkward. Cause I actually went in and I was like, <laughs> it was like, oh, like, oh, this is awkward, this is weird. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Anyways, so she goes in, makes the sound effect. <laughs> And I did nothing. I did nothing. Picture this wrench as her. I know it's a very, very odd thing, but just go with me here. And I was just like this. I didn't do anything. Didn't say anything. No fake sound effect. No contact. For, like she was there for maybe three minutes afterwards. Sometimes cringiness actually, I can feel cringiness. Sometimes it hurts so bad. Like it's so cringy that I feel it. And that's what happened in that moment. So I was like, Oh shoot, like I instantly want to start snapping, it's weird. And I was just like, ah, this is so weird, like. <laughs> this is kind of cool, it's like we're like pillow talking. By the way, can we talk about the freaking hit I took on my YouTube channel because of that gun control video? I wanted to make a video talking about my views on gun control and I did and I don't regret it. I'm, I lost so many subscribers just from voicing my opinion. And it shocks me that like, you guys watch my channel. The key word there is my channel, meaning that I should be allowed to voice my opinion um, as long as I don't abuse that power. And what I mean by that is, if I get on here and I start saying, you have to believe this, and you should do this, and that's right and that's wrong, well then, then that's a little ridiculous. And I think that's taking advantage 
of this platform. But I did that video saying, this is how I feel. And it's just, I don't know, I find it interesting. I'm not gonna say anything about it and there's nothing I could do about it, but I find it interesting that I lost a lot of subscribers. I love having you guys here and I love to entertain. I love to keep things lighthearted. But if it comes down to you not respecting me for my views on life, then we're not gonna get along. Looking at the comment section on that video, it's, it's incredible at how many people are trying to make me seem like I'm wrong uh, for my opinion. Now for those of you that are like currently losing your shit because in the background there is a, uh, like a gun picture and I just kind of just said guns are bad. This says weapons of mass creation, okay? And inside the gun are a bunch of cameras because if there's gonna be anything that you should be shooting, it should be a camera and you should be creating something. This isn't a pro guns poster. It is a pro be creative and do cool shit poster. All right, let's get back to it. So as a whole, today has not been a very interesting day for you guys. Like, yeah, if you were here hanging out with me, like we would, we'd have fun, like we'd joke around. But as a camera where you don't talk back, uh, you get to just experience the raw day of Dan. That sounds like a, like a Christian band, raw day of Dan. Good morning guys, it's Friday. I know, I skipped a couple days, it's been crazy. When I was filming yesterday, I actually, I had to put Charlie in camp. I got his progress report. We're gonna go over it with him right now. That's why I wanna talk to him about a couple things. Charlie, come here. We are gonna go over your progress report. I wanna see how you did yesterday at camp. It was your first day at camp. It said you did romp and roll play. The options were played a lot, rested a little, sat it out, and romp and roll play. You wanna talk about that? Why is your play style romp and roll? play because you're still very like hyper as a puppy no, no no it's okay it's great I just wanted to know like like romp and roll was like a style that you decided to choose what inspired it okay that's cool food it says there is a few leftovers that's what I'm talking about you're just like your papa hey we ate foodies Give some for after right you know you might be hungry after you're doing your romp and roll play it says you made a lot of friends man that's what give me give me a paw give me a paw for that that's right, my man. Potty. Let's see what you did. Okay, potty. Took care of business, man. He's just like his papa, always pooping everywhere. That's what I'm saying. I want to drop you off and I want to pick you up knowing that you're on an empty tank. You know what I'm saying? Guys, help me out for the subscribers that I lost. I don't, honestly, I don't really give a shit, but I do give a shit. It's kind of like a weird thing. Subscribe to my channel if you watch me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. See you guys later.